Hello everyone, it's Creative Side B here, back with another video. And in this video, um, I'm going to be doing something a little different. I'm going to be showing you this cool skydiving system it, that I found in the toolbox and how to set it up. And a really good part about it is that it's R15. And uh, I've been searching up some tutorials on skydiving on the internet. There's not a lot of R15 skydiving tutorials so here you go um so you want to go to the toolbox and type sky dive with a capital s and a capital d no spaces and press enter and then you'll see this one by uh pulsar nova it uh shout out to him this is a great script anyway so you just want to um drag that into your game and you want to um have that selected, press Control u or right-click and ungroup it. You can uh, delete this, 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 and you just want to keep the R15 slash R6 skydiving script. And uh, the you can do, uh, like click on this drop-down arrow to open it, and there's um, you can delete that as well. Anyway, so you want to place this in the sc starter character scripts, open it, and uh, you'll see a bunch of animations, and so you'll need to create your own skydiving animation. I'm going to be using Moon Animator. Uh, you can use your preferred Roblox Studio like animation editor, um, like these things up here, um, this one here. But uh, I'm going to be using Moon Animator because I find it easier and it has more features and stuff. And it's, yeah, it's just easier to use. Anyway, so I'm going to use the rig builder. You can use, like, load character or something or even character inserter for moon animator. But just for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just going to load in. Well, you can select, so R6, R6, R15. But for this tutorial, I'm going to do R15, main rig. And just wait for that to load into the game. And once it has, you can go onto moon animator file new animation and you can call it something skydive anim confirm and then what you want to do is click that plus icon click on him uh, select C frame as well um, just in case you want to use C frame in your animation and uh, then you want to select the lower torso here and you want to rotate it to um, how like your, you want your character to be facing the ground and then make your skydiving animation. Um, I'm just going to quickly whip one up s so I can show you what it does um, and how it works. Uh, you can add, like, make the arms go, like, I don't know, a little crazy. I don't know. Y you can customize this animation how much you want. And um, anyway, so I'm going to go to item, uh, no, track, select all. And then you don't have to do this. I'm just doing this copy and I'm going to paste. So, and then uh, make sure that your animation is looped. If it's not, it won't work. Like it will work, but it won't work if you, if that makes sense. Anyway, uh, you'll see if it doesn't work for you. Anyway, uh, animation settings, loop, confirm. All right. So now that's we've got a looping animation, um, I'm going to go item, export all, and in service storage, moon animator export, there should be this um, thing here. And don't worry, if you forgot to loop it, and if you're using moon animator, uh, there's if you click on this loop, there will be this loop thing, and you can just, you know, tick it and untick it. Anyway, and then once with that tick, you want to press save to Roblox, and um, name it something. And then uh, you want to get that um, ID there by clicking on it. And then at the top, there'll be this URL. And um, the it'll basically be the same as that. And you just want to copy those numbers, right? Um, go into this. And you'll notice there's a bunch of ad different animations ending with R6 or R15. You want to select all the ones with R15 animation ID and paste that number in there wait a bit and it might pop up well it will but 
Anyway, and uh, you'll notice forward animation, left animation, so different animations for different um, movements. So if you want to dive forward, you can change the animation a bit. But um, yeah, and now that we have that going, you can delete this dummy. I'm going to now put a spawn here and I'm going to drag it up into the sky so I can s show you that it works. So now if we press play, And jump as you can see it'll load our skydiving animation and you can skydive and uh with parachutes it does not really glitch out um depending on what parachute you get um from the toolbox or if it's custom one it is lag free um so yeah anyway it, i hope you uh, have enjoyed this video if so, leave a like, and while you're at it, definitely subscribe. And, uh, yeah, have a good day. Goodbye.